killing him in here. Smell that, Calvin? That is the smell of freedom. No, my friend, that is the smell of P.F. James. <laughs> now let's go murder some moose shoot. <laughs> Hey, sis. If you're here because something is missing from your house, it wasn't me this time. I stole this bracelet from you years ago. <laughs> so what do you want? I came to apologize. I said some pretty terrible things to you that I wish I could take back. You gotta understand, I was really embarrassed. Well, I'm sorry I embarrassed you. What do I need to do to get your approval? Be a doctor? A lawyer? Just tell me, because I know a guy and I can get a license tomorrow. You don't need my approval. I know I don't need it, but it doesn't mean I don't want it. Gemma, you're my big sister. I look up to you. I'm sorry. Instead of supporting you, I got caught up in my own feelings when I should have been thinking about yours. So they, no, it isn't. You are doing something with your life. You're really good at it. And I am really proud to be your big sister. You really mean it? Absolutely. And if I ever say anything that makes you feel any different, just slap one of your leather muzzles on me. I made you look bad in front of all those people from work. Actually, you didn't. Here in our community, 40% of which are children, the yolks thing, but curly, they do this food drive, which we count on every year. When people go and buy a car there, they are supporting the Tri-Cities Food Bank, and we can never say thank you enough. Come support McCurley Dealership's annual hometown food drive. Together, we can all make a difference. Well, we actually had a pretty good time. If I'm ever really trapped in a serial killer's basement, I hope Dave's there with me. <laughs> How was the fashion party? Did you buy anything? Well, as a matter of fact, I did pick up a little something. Oh. <laughs> Babe, I think I saw one of those in the serial killer's basement. <laughs> yeah. 
You might have escaped from him. But you're not going to escape from me. <laughs> I was a little bloated from the Chinese food. <laughs> but I could rally. Okay, here we go. Wait, wait. Turn it on the other side. Oh, okay. No, yeah, there we go. Hey, Calvin, you left your wallet in the... Get out, Dave. on your kid. He's in a school towards Cherry Street. That's the wrong way. Why are you probably talking to a girl or chasing a butterfly? At 35 miles an hour? Last man's dead. Tonight at 7 on Fox 11. High Desert Custom Coating can handle all your powder coating needs. Powder coating is a time-tested process that is resistant to heat, cold, and corrosion. Economical, durable, and environmentally friendly. Decorative and protective at the same time. We can color match with a wide spectrum of colors, textures, and finishes. Commercial and residential projects, barbecues, gates, railings, and spiral staircases. For a beautiful uniform coating that looks like paint, acts like armor. Call High Desert Custom Coating in Pasco. to be Joel with my musical idol. I loved every album and video, but he blew my mind when he released a song like no other. He didn't start the fire was an instant classic. The moment I heard it, I was obsessed. What is he doing? It's like Billy Joel is singing, but also rapping. No, it's like he's rapping, but also singing. It became a point of pride to memorize the lyrics. And back before the internet, the only way to learn them was to just listen. What the hell are you doing? It's the middle of the night. Yeah, thank God. Is it Puma job? Pac-Man job? Put on the damn headphones. What is he saying? He's saying you're a moron. Now go to bed and also learn some history. And the best part? I did. Billy Joel actually made me good at school. So yes, we didn't start the fire. In fact, it burned right from Harry Truman to the Great Cola Wars. Normally I am not a fan of popular music, but this song teaches and entertains. You don't like music? No, I enjoy the dulcet tones of AM talk radio. That's sad. I feel sad for you. I mean, traffic, sports, weather, you got it all. Most importantly, the Joel taught me girls dig rock stars. I can roll the cola walls, I can it Wow, that was totally badass. You like how I flipped over the He-Man table? You know what? You should perform that song in the holiday talent show. You think? I know. Not to completely objectify you, but the whole thing was insanely hot. Me? Hot? Oh, <laughs> never thought I'd hear that from the first room. My cheeks are burning. What can I say? You make quite the Billy Joel. More like Boopy Joel. Schmoo didn't start the fire, but his cheeks are... But there's a mirror right there. <laughs> December 13th, 1980-something, and Erica was back from college for winter break. I have an announcement. We spent a lot of time together this holiday break. Too much, in fact. You've been home for one day. You're feeling it, too. Uh, at Jeff's house. What? His parents invited me, and I don't want to be here, so it's all lining up. Murray, your daughter wants to spend the holiest day of the year without the family. Say something. Holy? Most years we give up halfway through. Murray, don't interrupt. 
It's a very special day, so at the very least, we should come with you. Ooh, one problem. You're not invited. Please, Linda and Lou Schwartz are friends. They love to have us. You've never even talked to them. Well, I sent Linda a beautifully worded note when Murray ran over her foot. I signed my name at the bottom. You are not crashing their dinner. End of story. Damn it. Quick, grab your pants. The Schwartzes are clearly making a play to take Hanukkah. Who's doing what now? Murray, it is crucial that we establish ourselves as the fun parents who host all the holidays. That way, if Jeff and Erica ever get married, they come to us. Not those bastards. Us. Okay, I'm hearing a lot of worry about things far in the future that I don't care about. Oh, you better care. Hanukkah is a gateway holiday. If they take that, then they take Thanksgiving, then the 4th of July, then we're left with... Meanwhile, I was ready to win over the crowd. Ow! <laughs> That's the best. Still getting used to wearing my shades indoors like the piano man. You're no piano man. Tell that to Jackie, who strongly urged my hot bod to do the talent show. Come on! What upside down world are we living in here? How do you have a girlfriend and confidence and a modest amount of popularity? Hello? Pops! He's helped me with all of it. He's even the one who... Hey, yeah. Zelda, how about you? I don't think we're going to be seeing Bill Plasky for a long time. The Dodgers are going to go really far. Your bullpen comes in last night for scoreless innings. I get it. San, San Diego is a terrific team. The Dodgers, just a little bit better. They always beat them. That's what David Ortiz was saying last night. It's when you go up against the daddy, the daddy knows all your moves, El Duncan. It's tonight a must win for San Diego. Well, of course, so not if this was the best of seven, but it's the best of five. But to Yates' point, he's been sipping matcha and at Chavez Ravine all the time. I've fallen over in heaven, how long have I been? The game was fun, it was like a perfect come. mystery for We're relievers. Oh, that's right, you do play for the Dodgers now. What give us a day or daily bread, and I give us our dad to have to give our dad or give us our empty temptation, but deliver us from evil. Is what were they going to do in their bullpen? The line is the kingdom and power for ever. All right. And they avoid doing too much for us. Never let them be ashamed. Deliver me in our righteousness. Bound down I am. Deliver me seated. Either of us don't want to have the defense to save me. Well, I'm a rock. I'm a fortress. Therefore, for thy name's sake, lead me and guide me. Who may have done that today have laid perfectly for me? This year, time workers get holiday deals. People, anyone else?